Hello, this is Ray LaHood, Secretary of Transportation. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a good number of interesting topics to cover today, and special thanks to all of the readers at Transportation Nation for sending in so many great questions this month. So with that, here we go. First question, how can DOT help improve conditions on aging transit systems uh, like SEPTA? Well, look, there's a lot of aging transit systems around the country. Uh, just about every major city uh, has aging uh, transit. And uh, we have great partnerships between what we do at DOT and the Federal Transit Administration and our friends that run these transit districts all over the country. The one thing that we have done that has really enabled transit systems around the country is to uh, provide uh, pretty good sums of money. For example, we just uh, uh, released uh, recently, uh, I think it was about uh, $775 million to help 45 states plus the District of Columbia make long overdue transit repairs. So that, uh, that, that's a pretty good chunk of money. And then we, we also uh, have announced uh, the availability of another $750 million. So when you couple those two uh, amounts of money, what we've tried to do in our partnership with transit districts uh, is to help them identify uh, the areas that need uh, really uh, this uh, state of good repair money and then make the money available to them in a grant uh, process. So next question. There's a lot of focus on improving the Northeast Corridor service, but can you address and discuss why it's so important for other areas like the Midwest and California to get in high-speed rail. Well, the main reason is, is because the President and Vice President have a big vision about this that they established two years ago. President Obama, uh, when he was working on the economic recovery plan for America, made sure that there was money for the first time, a huge investment in high-speed rail for America, not just for one part of America, but for the country. The president and vice president recognized that with clogged highways all over America, uh, that with the kind of air pollution that some communities are still facing as a result of too many cars on the road, uh, that people need alternatives to transportation and not just on the Northeast Corridor. We know the Northeast Corridor through Amtrak is doing very well. As a matter of fact, ridership way, way up last year. Amtrak made money last year. We want to take that same kind of service the president does and the vice president around the country and offer people options to get off the roads, to get out of their cars, and particularly with high gasoline prices hovering around $4 a gallon, um, uh, people want options. And so the president has made a $10 billion investment in high-speed rail around America. Uh, so. Uh, we're, we're hoping to carry out uh, the president's vision to, to get people uh, out of cars, onto good forms of transportation, uh, and not just do it in one part of the country, really do it around the country, connecting 80% of the country over the next 25 years. Last question. Any job advice for a recent college grad who wants to get into urban transportation planning? Uh, well, first of all, congratulations on getting that uh, college degree. It's very important uh, to any job opportunity in America. Uh, when I first started my career, I started my career as a teacher, six years as a teacher, but I left teaching and went into regional planning. My, my first job in planning was at the Bi-State Planning Commission uh, in uh, the uh, northwest part of Illinois and eastern Iowa, the Bi-State Metropolitan Planning Commission. My advice is, is to look for opportunities in local government. That's where the action's at. That's where the planning's at. That's where the opportunities are. There are many communities around America that are collaborating, that are working together to leverage their planning opportunities, uh, their vision opportunities against what we might have here at DOT in terms of dollars and programs. The best way to learn uh, really the opportunities about transportation, about careers in transportation, really lies, I think, in local communities, in local cities, in the counties, in the collaboration that goes on, where they really leverage a lot of expertise and a lot of creative ideas, and then bring them to DOT, and then we try and leverage some of our dollars. Uh, you learn how local government works, you learn how 
uh, people collaborate together, how the planning process works, and I think it's just a, a great place to start. Many of the people that work here at the Department of Transportation started out working in, in, in cities and in counties and in states where they saw how people in government really work together. So my advice is look in your own community, look in your own state. Uh, there's some great opportunities there. Well, those are the questions we're going to cover today, and uh, I appreciate very much the people that uh, uh, have sent questions to us, and uh, we always continue uh, to look forward to receiving your questions and, uh, and another opportunity to answer them. So until the next time, keep writing us uh, on uh, my Fast Lane blog, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks, everyone.